Hey friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the Chrome performance profiling details. We have seen it. Now we will try to move a little bit more detail into this one so that we can have a clear understanding. So here, this is the overview tab, right? So I, what I was trying to explain you is this one is an overview tab. If you try to see here, this is an overview tab. Otherwise, I will close this one and I will i will execute it again so that we can have a clear view if i click on this one let it let it uh, do it so at the top we have seen that it is an overview and the bottom we are able to see screenshots actually the screenshots is correctly it's not visible i don't know why those are not coming let's close this one all let maybe yeah okay fine let's leave it i don't want to so you'll be able to see it sometimes it will not be able to see so in the now if you try to see our code so what is the code we are having in the app.js so style.css this one we have understood so app.js so this is the javascript code here if you try to see here this is our first function and this is our second function which in return calling the my first function and at last we are calling the my second function so that means we are calling the my second function in return the my first function is executing and it is doing some console.log so this is simple logic and here in our performance tab let's see that whether we are able to see this one or not so in the main thread so you should be able to see so here it is happening everything is happening here in this one only so this is all evaluating the script so if you try to click on this one so this is hooks.js something internal one and here you'll be able to see so this is not belong so here detector.js so this is also not this is all related to the web sockets and here dom parsing is finished and here somewhere it is layout is doing so that means so somewhere here only it will be able to do it so this is our app.js if you try to see at the bottom in the summary so the evaluation script which it is trying to do is related to the app.js so that means so here we are having the app.js so let's try to see so that means here if you try to see our javascript code is blocking the parsing html okay if you try to observe so at the first it is doing the parse html Again, the script it is blocking, and again the parsing is happening, and again we got the app.js here, and it is executing this app.js, and again the parse HTML is doing. So that means here it is blocking the HTML parsing. So how we can rectify this one? All we'll try to see in the upcoming videos. But I am trying to explain you. And here what it is trying to do? So this is our evaluate script which is belongs to app.js, and here if you try to see, so here we are able to see this my first function and the my second function we are calling the my first second function in return my second function is calling the my first function so that is the thing so here my second function is taking 0 0.23 millisecond and here it is taking 71 microseconds something like that okay so total it is taking around 0 0.23 milliseconds so this is how we can able to see in our thing evaluate script what is the function where it is executing so this is how we can see here in the main thing and if you try to see here we are having four tabs the summary means nothing but whatever you are clicking so total how much time loading it is taking the, this much script evaluation it is taking this much and system ideal these are all things we are able to see so now if you try to so now if i want to see total thing means so you can click on this one so that you can able to see so actually this should be something like this yeah so total here the script evaluation is taking 136 millisecond and this is all total 741 milliseconds so we are able to see it if you want to see more detail about this one we can click on the bottom up or otherwise uh, you can see bottom up so how much uh, time it is taking the each activity how much time it is taking so here the layout is taking around 49 percent and the compilation of code parsing html it is taking 32.1 percent so like this we are able to see what are the different uh, things it is taking so here my our, our my first function in return inside this one you'll be able to see my second function uh, yeah here so it is taking totally 0 0.1 millisecond so like this we are able to see and here this is our call tree so call tree means nothing but we know right so what is the thing parsing html and evaluating the script and layout design and these are the so css arm so painting so these all comes under the different stages so here you will be able to see the activity thing so which which are is taking which uh, how much of time so let's try to see so the layout is taking so much of time that's 49 percent of the thing out of the total calculate time 167.8 uh, millisecond is taking the layout 
parsing html the parsing of the html it is taking 32.1 second the evaluating the evaluation of the script so that means uh, downloading the script and execution everything so it is taking this much and here recalculating the, the css arm construction and all those things it is taking six milliseconds so this is the total thing so here so this is the total thing so like this you'll be able to see the different stages how much time it is taking so that you can understand and here this is the event log so that means from starting of the page to the ending of the page what are the events that has been fired so for example let's say that here you'll be able to see the navigation starts so that means this is the first stage and here it has sent the request bubbling.html so the end the html the bubbling.html file the html file it has sent so it has received the response then immediately it has started downloading this one so parsing the html and all those things it has started so receive data and this is all send request and request so this is all so see receive data so bubbling.html it has received the data and again it has sent the request to the style.css and again it has sent the request to lighthouse and it has sent the request to the app.js and here some built-in plugins finish loading receive response and immediately so when the finished loading is all completed so it has started parsing the html so like this so each step by step step by step you will be able to see and afterwards the dom content loaded you are able to see the dom content loaded here and like this if you are going to see event load we are able to see the event load so here the event load has been occurred in the 480 milliseconds so we are able to see that one so this is the total time what is the thing so we are able to see okay so these are the different types so these are the different levels so bottom up means so each activity how much time it has taken so we are able to see it call trim is the activity so overall activity we are able to see it self time means so the actual layout how much time it has taken uh, the it has directly thus taken total time means including its children and all those things so here you'll be able to see actual parse html took 31.6 including the children and all those things execution it took 110 millisecond evaluation of the script also in the same thing so event log is one of the important things so whenever you want to see when this dom content loaded has been happened means okay it has been happened dom content event load 423.1 millisecond the dom content load has been happened so if you want to see the event load means so you can be able to see that event load also so at the bottom you'll be able to see this event load at 480.7 millisecond so this one has been happened so like this we will be able to see the parse html also we can able to see when this pass parsing of html is complete so here it has been started so at 423 millisecond has been completed so that is the reason dom content also is loaded in the 423 milliseconds 423.1 millisecond so those all things we need to reduce it so like this you will be having so this is all so if you want to filter out so you can remove this loading thing you can remove the scripting thing you can remove this rendering thing rendering thing like this you can do it so like this you can do it so this is all the different ways so these are all the different tabs which are you will be able to see in the performance thing and like this if you want to see the evaluation script and all the things also you can check it and this is all about this performance thing so we'll try to see about the css arm and all the things in the future and how we can increase this all performance speed and all the things we'll try to see Hope you understood about these different types available in the profiling. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.